you know, we've talked at a high level about corporate innovation uh, and this thing, digital transformation. Some people have asked, okay, well, what is digital transformation? Basically, in a nutshell, digital transformation for these large traditional enterprises is when you need to embrace digital into your core business. And there's two prongs to this. One prong is I have my existing business model, which has been around for years and probably decades. And it's saying, how do I incrementally improve the existing business model? How can I digitize the existing business model? We wrote an article to this effect a while ago uh, about, you know, different kinds of digital transformation. So this is kind of incremental improvement. I need to digitize my existing business model. The key thing for the CEO and for the board and the executive team when thinking about digital transformation is to say, where does digitizing my core have a point of diminishing returns, right? Where do I need to now say, well, if I was to digitize my existing business model, is there a new business model, which in a purely digital environment, if I've digitized my consumer and supply side interactions, is there a new business model, which actually is the new version of my company? And so that is the really difficult thing to manage, right? Um, in, in businesses where you have more consolidated supply chains, where you see lower ability for, say, new disruptive business models like platform business models to penetrate, let's take uh, the airplane, airline industry, or the train industry, um, the uh, you know, uh, uh, train freight industry, right? These are highly consolidated industries. Barriers to entry are very high. There's only a handful of players in any one of these industries. So it's much, there's much less fragmentation. It's much more difficult for new platform marketplace type business models to penetrate. So you're probably going to be able to just digitize the existing business model and continue to be able to do that and have less of a worry about a wholesale change to your business model. If you take the banking and financial services industry, or the retail or B2B distribution industries, you're going to have both. I need to digitize my existing business model. If I'm Walmart, right? I need to digitize my existing business model, figure out how to use technology in my stores better, right? Or let people pick up grocery in the store. But I also need to embrace the new version of myself, which is a platform business model. And how you balance these two things, that's kind of the the holy grail of digital transformation, where you're digitizing the existing, but now you're also embracing new digital first business models like platform business models. As we've seen, platform business models are, by and large, the strongest technology-driven business model that's out there. And so you have to try and balance the shift of embracing the new, which could bring a, a level of commoditization to the core business model over the short term, but balancing these two trends is very difficult. Building out capability internally versus looking externally and bringing that capability in from the outside, you also have to look at doing both of those. So that's all kind of in this bucket of digital transformation. And it's something that the CEO needs to lead. You need to have a supportive board. You need to have the right capability built out underneath the CEO at the C-suite level of executives here that are able to understand how to keep focused on the core while still exploring the new and embracing these new disruptive business models. It's very difficult, but we're super early on in the process, right? We're actually 10, 15 years into it. You've got decades to come of really seeing the true impact of new disruptive platform-driven business models coming into these traditional industries and these traditional enterprises. Hi, this is Alex from Winner Take All. Thanks for joining us. Hope you enjoyed the content. Feel free to leave a comment, ask us questions, and definitely make sure to join us on our next live stream.